Dare to believe it or not, but not all sex positions are created equal, especially for older women. Now that's a statement to make you sit up and think, isn't it? In this video, we'll be shedding some light on a topic that's not often discussed openly. We'll be diving into the world of intimacy and exploring some truths that might make you rethink your bedroom tactics. So, buckle up as we delve into the five sex positions older women absolutely dislike. First off, the classic, the missionary. Surprised? Well, you shouldn't be. Now, let's get to the heart of the matter. The missionary, often hailed as the vanilla of sex positions, can be quite uncomfortable for older women. You see, as we age, our bodies change. This is a fact of life that we can't escape. For women, this can mean the onset of conditions like arthritis or osteoporosis, which can make lying flat on the back for an extended period quite painful. Moreover, the pressure exerted on the hips and knees in this position can be particularly discomforting for women with joint problems. Now, this doesn't mean the missionary is off the table entirely. It merely means that you may need to consider variations or modifications to make it more comfortable for your partner. Remember, communication is key. So gentlemen, if she's past her 50s, you might want to rethink your go-to move. Next up, doggy style. Yes, you heard it right. This position, while often seen as a favorite among many, can actually be quite tiring for older women. Picture this. It requires significant knee and wrist strength, something that can be a bit of a challenge as we age. Just think about it. In this position, she's supporting a substantial amount of her body weight on her hands and knees. This can lead to discomfort, especially if she's been on her feet all day or has pre-existing joint issues. It's a bit like asking someone to hold a plank position for an extended period of time, but that's not all. The doggy style position also requires a strong core to maintain stability and balance. This could lead to strain on the lower back if not properly supported. So, what's the takeaway here? Well, it's not about completely ruling out any positions. Instead, it's about understanding the physical demands of each one and being mindful of your partner's comfort. After all, intimacy should be a mutually enjoyable experience, not a test of endurance or flexibility. So if she's been working out her knees all day, perhaps it's time to consider her comfort first. Moving on, the cowgirl. Another shocker, isn't it? This position, typically a fan favorite, can be surprisingly uncomfortable for older women. It's not about the lack of control or the physical exertion. It's about the potential for discomfort and even pain. As we age, our bodies change. Muscles weaken, joints become less flexible, and the strength we once took for granted may start to wane. In the cowgirl position, a woman is not just participating, she's leading the dance. This requires strength, balance, and flexibility. For an older woman, this might mean straining already sensitive joints or pushing muscles beyond their comfort zone. It's crucial to remember that what feels good for one person might not feel good for another. The cowgirl position might have been a go-to in her younger years, but now it could lead to discomfort or even pain. So gentlemen, Next time you're suggesting the cowgirl, ask yourself, is my partner comfortable? Can she handle it without straining herself? Remember, a good lover always puts his partner's comfort before his own pleasure. Finally, the reverse cowgirl and the infamous 69. Yes, they are as complicated as they sound. These positions, while adventurous, can present a bit of a challenge, especially for older women. Let's break it down, shall we? The reverse cowgirl, for instance, requires a certain degree of flexibility and balance that might not come as easily with age. It can also put a strain on the knees and hips, which could lead to discomfort or even pain. This position, while visually appealing, may not be the most comfortable for everyone involved. Then we have the 69 position. This one's a bit of a double-edged sword. On one hand, it can be incredibly intimate and pleasurable. On the other, it requires a fair bit of coordination and stamina. It can be a little tricky to get the positioning just right, and maintaining it can be a workout in itself not to mention the potential for neck strain or difficulty breathing. So next time, think twice before suggesting these adventurous positions. So there you have it. Five sex positions older women may not be too fond of. Let's jog our memory. We started with the uncomfortable missionary, moved on to the tiring doggy style, discussed the painful cowgirl, and wrapped up with the complicated reverse cowgirl and 69. Each position had its own set of challenges and discomforts, Remember, communication is key. Always make sure your partner is comfortable and enjoying the experience as much as you are. Until next time, stay informed and keep the conversation going.